What's the difference between REST APIs and GraphQL? REST is representational state transfer. Uh, and so when you're interacting with those sorts of APIs, you're making HTTP requests to suit certain URLs to get resources back. And it's just a standardized way of creating, reading, updating, and deleting data. GraphQL is a query language. So you can think of it more like SQL, uh, except for APIs. So if I were making a request to a REST endpoint, uh, I would use maybe uh, git api v1 user David. And then I would get back all the information about David. Using GraphQL, you can specify exactly the data that you're looking for. So I can have a, a query field just for username David, and I just want email address. And so I just specify email, and that gives me back that exact uh, bit of data versus the whole block. Before reading, you know, studying your book, I was always thinking about REST is, the, is what I need to study. But are you saying that GraphQL is, is like an up and coming thing that I should also look at? REST is definitely the most widely used web API that's out there. GraphQL though is exploding in adoption. And so lots of uh, developers see this new technology that can be used to specify exactly the data that you're looking for and they're adopting it and using it. So uh, it definitely is something that will require additional attention. Uh, right now, REST is already out there, it's already vulnerable, and it's already been adopted and continuing to be adopted. So it definitely needs the focus, uh, but GraphQL is right there behind it. So once you've finished figuring out how to, how to work with web APIs like REST, uh, then definitely move on to GraphQL to build out your, your repertoire of like uh, tools and techniques. You've covered some of it in your book, is that right? How do I learn more about it? Yeah, so I have uh, one chapter at the end of my book uh, all about hacking GraphQL. And the, the lab for that is the damn vulnerable GraphQL application. And the cool thing that happened was after I had announced the release of um, hacking APIs, I connected with uh, uh, the developers of damn vulnerable GraphQL and that's uh, Nick, Alex, and Dilla Fari. And I, I commented to them, I said, you know, uh, I'm leaving the successor book to you guys on GraphQL. And three days before I made that comment, they'd actually signed on with No Starch Press to write Black Hat GraphQL. And uh, they, they asked me to be a technical editor on the book. We just finished that process. And now Black Hat GraphQL is available for pre-order. Uh, so the next great resource to get into after hacking APIs, definitely Black Hat GraphQL. You'll learn a ton. Uh, there, there are a lot of unique vulnerabilities to that technology.